How's it going boys? Today on standard we are playing the Zorius Spirit slash Enchantment deck. This archetype is mostly known more or less just as a meme because it's not that great. Admittedly, I did my best. You are not gonna be winning tournaments with this, but you are gonna win a fair few games against a fair few decks because this is honestly not that bad. The whole problem with the Spirit Tribal is Wizards not playing the game but still yet for some reason designing cards for it made the mistake of thinking, hmm, if we significantly nerf the creatures but give them an alternative thing to do in the graveyard, it will balance itself out. And that is the problem of Spirit Tribal as we are going to be calling it, because there's no real basis. Most of the spirit cards are extremely understated. Sure, they have an alternative uh, use in the graveyard, and if you combine it with Hollowed Haunting, you can get a pretty decent margin out of it. But the problem is, well, the things on your board are going to be extremely weak for a very long period of time. So a very aggressive deck like, for example, Gruul Werewolves is just going to uh, roll over you most of the times. But when you get to the late game, yeah, Spirit decks are really, really good at keeping the pressure up because you drop something, you put enchantments on it, Hollowed Haunting starts proccing, the Owl starts working, a lot of things. So... This deck is designed with one idea in mind. We get to that late game point. We have things like a Lantern Bearer, just because it's a 1-1 that costs one. We have a lot of cards that are pretty good against a lot of aggro creatures. For example, this 1-1. It has first strike, so it's good. This has lifelink. This is a 4. 4 flying. You know, this has lifelink. Most of our things, most of our creatures are designed to block and make us survive the early game. And then we get into the late game with Hollowed, Haunting and Cigar, the Splendor and the Owl drawing us 50 trillion cards per turn and creating a million spirit tokens. Uh, then it's our time to shine. And Cleric Class and two otherworldly gazes just because, well, I think it's cool. And 23 lands to be specific. We are an aggro deck, but we do require some bit of mana, and our big plays are obviously forecast manas. So, this is the best I could come up with this deck. It's really hard to balance it. You have honestly some plays possible with four cleric classes and uh, four luminous veterans and trying to go to uh, go with a more healing route. Uh, but most of the time, it, it has its downsides also, obviously. But I would say that this deck is consistent. I would say that you, if you really, really want to change and you're if you're not looking to be hyper competitive, then this is a really good and interesting change to make because, well, you know, it's fun. It's different. It's definitely something you don't play every day. And sometimes you can get those games where your opponent flat out thinks, well, wait a minute, this is flat out unfair. He just, he, he, she's just playing three cards per turn and has nothing in the hand because, you know, his graveyard exists. Yeah, sometimes you're going to get those uh, goals, those pieces of gold nuggets. But with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and please subscribe because it only takes five seconds and it's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do on this channel. With c cracking, I guess. You think this is not a good hand, but honestly, this is strangely enough probably one of the better hands we can get because we want Cigar the Splendor. We want to start drawing cards. We want to start doing things like that. Let me tell you something also. Man, this deck was not easy to make. This deck was not easy to make in the slightest. All the creatures are weak. Like, you can't get better, for the most time, you can't honestly get better than a 1-1 stat line for most creatures here. It's pretty de depressing to a degree, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he went for that, that's pretty interesting. Well, whatever, drop this. So yeah, at least I have options, I kinda like it. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see how much we can win. Is this just a classical control deck Azorius? Looks like it. Because no one else honestly plays this. Everyone rightfully sees this as a meme deck. But I will prove them wrong. Oh, how I will prove them wrong. 
I will prove them wrong with every fiber. Yeah, he has a counter spell. That's really bad. Yeah, he chose to do nothing. I guess that's no, that's not good. I wanted him to drill, uh, do something against it. Well, it's gonna be four mana, so there is a chance he just goes for some kind of play at the Fari uh, Planeswalker. Maybe we're gonna have to see. But dropping a cigar to Splendor when he potentially has a counter spell does not seem like the best play in the world. Not gonna lie. Seems like the second best play in the world. Interesting. Okay, okay, this is good. Because this thing turns into a plus one one. And on a dual strike creature, that's pretty powerful most of the time. So we are definitely going to be able to bait out a removal if there is a removal. Also, it could be the fact that he just has some uh, something that deals with a creature or whatnot. Yep, he had just Fatal Absence. Okay, that's, that's annoying to a degree, but not horrible. Not horrible. Against Control decks, it's still the same old, same old situation of... Well, if you... Ooh, man. That's such a good card, though. Oh, and again. Let's see what he does this time. Is it gonna be an exile effect? Yeah, it's an exile effect, sadly. Okay, well, it's not like I can honestly do anything else at this point in time. I'm kind of not enjoying this, because currently... Well... If you're playing a slow deck, and you're up against someone who's also playing a slow deck, the problem is very simple. The problem is honestly so unelaborative, it's it's quite ridiculously and stupid. If it oh, I did not mean to do that. Ah, well, not a big deal. No, uh, well, it's kind of a big deal because I will be missing that. But there's a chance I can't even do it. Wait a minute. So he plays that. Oh no, he's just gonna do another. I I need these cards, wizards, please. Oh, the old. This is the problem. Our deck is not aggressive enough to win against uh, Cree. Seriously? That, that's all. I, I, I guess it's fine. I guess he doesn't need to do anything else, you know? Oh, this is not that bad. Admittedly, it doesn't do too much, but hey, I can do this. Which is neat, to say the least. And I can still drop this. Man, this deck for all the cards that we have that are meant to draw a lot. We're not drawing a lot, not gonna lie. And honestly, this is enough probably to force him to deal with the board, not Cigar the Splendor. Which is kind of good. But against control decks, the problem is... We can't really be aggressive enough. Seriously, you're gonna do that and just wipe the board. Well, I guess that's... The hell is that? Okay, is that it? Interesting. Yeah, and he just does that. So... Against control decks, the problem is we can't literally ever be aggressive enough. And this is pretty good, not gonna lie. This is pretty good because we finally have a little bit of an option. So, attack... Wait, actually, no. Let's just attack that, attack that. And then he doesn't have anything left, right? Hopefully. Because we don't even have a graveyard currently. <laughs> oh. The idea against control decks is that you outscale them through sheer numbers, essentially. That they can't outvalue you, because even if they wipe, you still have the graveyard and you can play. But again, when your stat line is as bad as a spirit, a spirit deck, disturbed deck stat line, you don't really have too many good choices, you know? Now I'm gonna lie, your, your choices are kind of meh and at the same time so we need to deal the uh, we need to do the best we can and that's creating value through things like late game hollowed hauntings and cigar the splendors 
fact that he actually ditched both of our cigar splendors is legitimately, by the way, killing me inside. Not gonna lie. But yeah. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna flip that. He doesn't have a lot of HP though. This is a little bit surprising, not gonna lie. Is he wiping? No, he has four mana only, he can't even wipe. Hmm. Well, whatever. Also, this is pretty. This is pretty good because this is one of the best disturbed cards because it only costs two. You would think that reducing the disturb cost is good, but most creatures that have good disturbs are actually pretty. Ooh. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, boys. This is actually really good. Finally, the owl. The owl is good. The owl is gonna allow us to just draw things, and that's like a that's a big that's a big big dealio. Okay, that's good, because you know, notice that we, our deck is kind of about drawing a lot of things, but in reality, we're not we're not actually drawing that many things. I'm gonna keep that because there's no reason to use it just yet. Actually, you know what? Double attack on that. I have a feeling that's the best choice. We are currently technically outvaluing our opponent, but it's really hard. It's really hard, boys. It's gonna take you a while probably to learn this deck to a decent degree. And another one. He, ju he just drops another one. Oh, uh, that's okay if he ditches that. Yeah, it's not a big deal. These are still really strong. The owl is still there. And... Oh my! Are you kidding? <sighs> of all the things! Why do you even play this? It makes no sense. It makes no sense, my dude. Oh, and he can actually bu- Oh, I guess that's fine. I would have personally buffed that, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> yeah! That's good, that's good. So, now I can do a couple of things. I'm gonna keep that, obviously. Okay, those couple of things are lies. I can't actually do anything. But I can attack, which is kind of cute. Oh, he just exiles the thing. The... Enchant other enchantment cre- Oh, okay. Hmm... How many... Jeez. Of all things unholy, you know? You, you just have the greatest... Ugh. Who plays this? How did we manage to play against technically a counter deck? Yeah, that doesn't do anything there, Chief. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? I can just literally attack and call it a day. I can also attack with that and call it a day. Do you think he's legit... <sighs> This is really problematic. I, I think this will be fine. This this will be fine because he doesn't expe expect the seat of the Empire. Okay, he's, he's doing that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I wanted to ditch that a lot, so that's, that's okay. Also, he's losing HP, which is kind of bad for him. Obviously, I guess. When did you get counters to get Exile Target card from if it's a permanent? Ugh. This is a permanent, so he can get seven. That deals four. Okay, that's not even a problem in that case. Oh, no one expects the seat of the Empire. Oh, he's gonna attack me with that. Yeah, I guess that makes a lot of sense. But, at the same time... I can actually just do it like this, can't I? Uh, probably. Yes, because it happens at the same... Yeah, 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 we're, we're fine. We're, we're absolutely cheeky. We're, we're, we're so cheeky, it's not even funny. It's actually quite hilarious. Oh, but good enough, good enough. Oh, wait, no, that's an... Oh, no, no, wait. Wait, did I even... Blow? Yeah, oh my, I can't... Oh. Uh! I'm such an idiot. And he can actually... Wait, he didn't exile it. 
Please! Please, my good sir. That should be fine, right? That should be fine, because it's still... It's, the, 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 the procs still happen. The things that matter still happen. Okay, for some reason it actually was allowed to still happen. Man, look at this! So much stuff! So much creepy, creepy stuff. Okay. Are we winning? Are we winning, son? I don't know. <laughs> oh no! Zia, uh, man, I I messed up that hard. Could have just blocked with that, and it would have been. Oh, it would have been so better. It would have been so. It would have been so drastically better. In fact, it wouldn't just be better. It would be a whole new universe. The good part is. We have this because it's lifelink for a reason, and the disturb for this one is also really powerful. There we go. Feels awkward, man. I I have to mulligan this. But as you can see, free wins, man, free wins just uh, don't sadly happen. It would be great if free wins have. Oh. That seems like a problem. But. Again, as I just bard class, are you kidding me? I just, so you 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 just put me up against a tier one deck? Is that a joke? A tier one deck with bard class in hand? He's gonna drop like three creatures now or something? Also, no, he didn't. Well, at least that's good that he didn't, because that would be just that would be just super sad. We do have a chance here if we don't get absolutely shrekt. Small chance of winning, but hey. If we win this, this is a free win. Even though I don't understand why wizards would give me a free win, because I'm on the blacklist. Hell, I honestly think that it's it's kind of like a bit a, a good, great symbol of status that I am on wizards' blacklist. They hate me so much that they spend time doing that. Also, 10 out of 10. At least this is kind of weak and meek. Okay, uh, the hope is... Wait, what did you... Basically... Oh my god! So you're telling me he just perfected it. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me this is not gonna be enough. Technically, how much... Wait, it has reach! Oh my god, it has reach. I'm a moron. It has reach. I completely forgot, so... He got he got the perfect turn. Th By the way, this is oh and, and whoa, this is such a forced loss because the guy had the perfect everything. Look at this perfect turn two Bard class into a free target Nar whatever his name is. Then he plays this ramps up and then he plays a Han and all. Oh, you you man you can't make this shit up. Why why why? This deck, this deck is not good enough to win against Bard class decks on its own. It's like one in a million if I actually score a win here. But but you just gave my opponent the absolute perfect hand? Man, how bad the average magic player is when you need to rig? I'm not even a tier. I, I I have no chance of winning against this nine times out of ten. Even if you don't trigger it, but you gave you gave him the most perfect everything possible. I honestly can't even think of a more perfect setup than this. <laughs> oh my god! The average magic player must be. I, I don't even know how bad the average magic player must be, considering this just happened. 10 out of 10 wizards, 10 out of 10. You're not gonna see this, but believe it or not, after that game I had two more games pretty much exactly like this. No one drops, no two drops in the opening hands, two lands, skip the third land draw, and my opponent just insta stomps me on turn 4 without any, any possibility to win. Like wow, wizards! Absolutely wow! I'm kind of I'm kind of speechless currently a little bit, and seeing this hand does make me question: Is this even real life currently? Cat on purple, but at least it's a good hand. Ubu. Also, we do have the technical uh, technically everything kind of. 
Oh, yes. When you kind of technically have everything, kind of. This is an enchantment deck, it looks like. Well, enchantment deck or not, we have some sauce here. Which is definitely good. Oh my, is that a bot? <laughs> are, are wizards... Yeah, it honestly would make perfect sense that wizards gives us now a 100% free win because we just literally lost three games in a row and m we might as well not even drop a single card because nothing mattered. So yeah, I'm assuming this is a free win. Have you ever seen anyone unironically play this? Even though it's honestly, in my opinion, not the worst card. It has trample and at the moment you drop a single land, it actually has a good stat line. So, you know. Maybe this is not a free win. Honestly, I'd be, I'd be super surprised if it honestly wasn't, but hey. Oh, but hey. That's pretty reasonable. No, well, it's actually not reasonable, but... Um... Ditch that. Ditch this. And keep everything else, I would say. Okay. Uh, yet again. Let's attack. He's not doing anything, so... Is this, is this legit just a free a freebie for no reason? Maybe. Oh, should have actually cast this on my opponent's turn. There really was no reason this time to cast it on. Felida Retreat. Talk about... Okay. Have you noticed that no one literally no longer plays Felidar at 3 decks? Kinda surprising to a degree, I will say. You could do a lot with these bad boys. Vigilance. Wait. Could I? No. No, no I don't have enough blockers. Yep, this. Wait, you know what? Do that, get that, get the drop that, this costs 3, this is perfect. Well, not perfect perfect, but as, as good as it honestly can be at this rate. Wait a minute, I, I could have act- oh my god, I forgot- oh, it doesn't matter, this is 100% a free win. Uh, because, you know, just, just, just look at this. Does it look like our, uh, our our little opponent right here actually can do anything? Nah, it, it seems, yeah. This this is what I experienced the last three. What? I'm pissed. I'm honestly pissed that this is the state of magic, you know? Wins not be you. You can't even get a you can't even get a normal win. <laughs> you you can't you can't even get a win that does not feel like a one hundred percent type of pure uh, freebie. You can't even get that. Insane. This this guy just never stood a single chance. He lost at the opening hand. And based on this hand, this looks like another free win because, you know, we have the early game. We honestly have the kind of everything, so. <laughs> uh, honestly, why, why even complain? Admittedly, you see white, you know that it's a tier 1 deck, most likely. At least most of the time it is. I probably can't afford to have the owl. Two times in a row. I, I need the lands. I, I need the lands. Awkward, but I, I really do think I need the lands as a must. Uh, this is live gain. Selesnia live gain. Nothing else plays this. Well, at least in Selesnia colors. And if you needed more proof, here you have. Uh, this will all depend on only one thing and one thing only. Do I get the fourth land and does he drop the two cost spirit that gets flying and indestructible? If he gets that, it's lost. Oh, or uh, this thing. Yeah, that's also kind of a one hundo. Wait, what did he do with the treasure? Did he play that into... that seems awkward. It seems seems a little bit awkward, not gonna lie, how you how you do things, my dude. 
But do things or do not things, I currently have all the advantages. Okay, yeah, this, this, see, this, this is what, this is the one I was talking about. If he plays that, I just lose. This, this card is literally insanely overpowered in a lot of matchups. If it's a creature ma matchup, Voice of the Blessed, I, I'm pretty sure Voice of the Blessed can literally be almost never toppled. I could go for this, though. Because this is gonna get flying, this is gonna be a huge problem. Do I go for the double because mm, I, I can't, I can't, there's, I lose. Wow. We couldn't really have, so currently it's five games in a row where the game has been instantaneously decided by, uh, not the equivalent of nothing. <laughs> oh, you can't make this shit up, boy. Also, I'm pretty sure I can't actually attack. Hmm. Now nah, let's attack. It may, maybe maybe he has five lands in the hand. Who knows? I could get five lands in the hand. That's one. Now you skip the turn because you have nothing. Do it. He just premeditated a vrat. He just premeditated double vrats. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You see that this is how things become extremely questionable. Is it because he doesn't have anything that f that that deals with flying? I'm not even sure what the what's going on. Essentially, yeah, that, that, I feel that that's a good question. What the hell is going on? The sad part is, can I even attack? Yes, I can attack, and there's a very good reason why I should attack, because if he does not. The, do, do you think he's what well, well, if he wipes this board I'm gonna scream because I understand absolutely nothing no longer that's going that's happening in this world oh he has an angel okay man I, this is the second guy that plays the angel card that's that's, that's quite impressive honestly okay do I am I forced to block this? Yeah, almost, kinda. Okay, what what am I even supposed to do here? Okay, I, bl I Well... No, I can't even block it. What a play. Okay, that's, that's actually really good. Because that gives us a chance. Actually, this also gives us a chance. It's not a good chance, but hey, it's a chance. <laughs> okay, do I attack with everything? Because I can't technically attack with everything. Uh, do you... Now, I, I just do this. Yes, that that's the play. Do you think he blocks with everything? If he blocks with everything, that's so insane. Wait, he's actually doing it. Why? 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 You're breaking my brain. He must have a protect. Is there one cost in vulnerability? Because there's no other way that this is even a shot. No chance. Impossible. I don't believe it. Why would you sack Voice of the Blessed like that? It literally makes no sense. And he goes for the cigar, the splendor. What the f wh what? What's going on? From one to ten, I I I I I just can't. Okay, now we're now we're gonna have more things to do technically. Oh, we, 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 we got the land that I was talking Well, actually, I don't even need to drop the land. I can just redrop this. What? <laughs> man, man, 
magic makes so little sense, it's insane. So you think he has just another angelic whatever? It must be. Because you're not probably playing a rat with a live game deck like this. Also, I'm gonna do a live game deck. He blocks one go. I just, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't. No, no, none of these, the, this guy's actions have made any sense. He borrowed time cigar the splendor. He has dropped nothing after. He, he has two things that buff up void, and now he plays a value legion angel. It's just, I, 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 I think we're at the point where life just is not supposed to make any sense anymore. Sure, I'm gonna do that, why not? Okay, uh, good, good enough. Yep, sure, good enough. Just, just, just the tag, just, 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 just. I, I, I want to forget I played magic today. This, this, the, this just makes no, no sense. Just, just let me forget, please. All I want is to forget. I don't deserve what's happening to me. I, I have done nothing wrong. And there's the wipe. Oh yeah, that was at least kind of expect. Yeah, now I have three trillion things. Do I do that? No, I don't. I just just draw the card. No one can. It doesn't. It, 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 it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Do I want to play this already? Probably no. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, none of this. Actually, that was probably keepable. Honestly, that was probably a bit keepable. Right, I have one creature. I don't think that's honestly a problem. Even we can legitimately buff it up so much that it can. I think it can one shot. No, I no, it cannot one shot. Yeah, that, that's gonna be two weak sauce. Oh, he played a card. He played a card. <laughs> Someone, please. Just, just. Why? Do I even play everything? Nah, there's no reason to play everything. Oh, I can actually do this. I guess that's gonna be an even better uh, end, end piece movement, whatever. But yeah, th this is the late game that I was talking about. At this point, the graveyard is a legitimate second hand as long as you can get one creature on the board. That's why technically, uh, man land would not be that bad because you can always just, uh, summon a man land, equip it with something in the spirit. Yeah, I kind of expected that. That's why we didn't do anything, but it is what it is. So, do I just drop the judge and call it a day? Ah. Uh, okay, wow. He just did that. Oh my god, yes, please. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it like that. Okay, sure, Chief, sure. Uh, do I want to play this? Because technically, nah, 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 nah. We we just we we just go full YOLO 420. Uh, blaze it, boy, blaze it. Yeah, there, this this is the, this is the play. There, this is the play. Uh, man, when life just doesn't. Oh, wow, that was a little bit unexpected, not gonna lie. Oof. The Harbinger. Oh, that's a card. Now that's, now that's a girly. Okay, what else, though? Uh, yeah, you play the Harbinger, that's absolutely fantastic. Can I actually get everything off? No, I cannot. Shimata. Well, but I can't do this and just YOLO 420 my way out because that guy's not gonna have enough because reasons, obviously. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. 
It, it just makes sense. GG.